क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी टू फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड फिजिकल जोग्राफी क्लाइमेटोलॉजी सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट द क्वेश्चन टॉक्स अबाउट इंसोलेशन एंड द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ इंसोलेशन रिसीव एट इक्वेटर इज रफली टेन टाइम्स ऑफ दैट रिसीव एट द पोल्स नाउ द रेफरेंस टू दिस कैन बी फाउंड फ्रॉम एनसीआर टी इट सेल्फ सो एनसीआर टी चैप्टर नंबर एट वॉट कैन बी सीन इज अ स्पेशल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन of insulation at the earth surface and from here if you see this statement the insulation received at the surface varies from about 320 watt per meter square in the tropics to about 70 watt per meter square at the poles in the poles so at the uh, tropics now it is saying 320 at tropics and at poles is a 70 watt per meter square 320 uh, watt per meter square and so in this case very clearly we can see that this is not 10 times okay and anyways 10 becomes very extreme multiple and hence the first statement becomes incorrect second statement that is infrared rays constitute roughly 2/3 of the insulation now with respect to this statement what we can see is the different parts of the spectrum from the insulation the radiation uh, from the sun the energies are emitted at different frequencies or different wavelengths and so based on that if we see first of all infrared radiation constitute almost 49% of the insulation okay whereas the visible light constitutes a 43% apart from that ultraviolet radiation constitute almost 7% and remaining 1% energy is emitted in the wavelengths which includes the other ones including x rays including gamma rays including gamma including radio waves so this is where infrared constitutes 49% okay roughly uh, even if we take up this particular statement infrared constitutes uh, roughly this should have been roughly half of the insulation which makes this statement is in incorrect infrared waves are largely absorbed by water vapor that is concentrated in the lower atmosphere this statement seems to be correct but let's check the fourth statement infrared waves are part of visible spectrum of electromagnetic waves this is absolutely incorrect statement because if we see uh, the complete solar spectrum the solar spectrum looks pretty much like ultraviolet after that based on frequency if we see visible and then we have infrared which is decreasing frequency so in this case the infrared waves definitely are different from visible spectrum we can see very clearly over here which makes this statement incorrect then as much as water vapor is concerned now water vapor is a major uh, greenhouse gas so it is definitely able to absorb a lot of infrared radiation which makes the this statement that is c to be correct for this question